everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking to you guys about my top five favorite straight leg, relaxed leg, high rise jeans. So I have a lot of jeans that are kind of similar in my closet and I get a lot of questions from you guys about which ones I like better. So I thought I'd do a kind of video series on the most similar jeans together to help you answer some questions. So I'm gonna talk about the rise of them, the inseam, the leg style, the material it's made out of, and how it wears over time, because those are the most frequently asked. The first pair of denim I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is the A. Goldie Jamies. These ones I got, I think most recently in terms of my A. Goldie jeans. These ones were on sale, and I think they should still be on sale around the net when you guys see this video. It is high rise for sure. I would say probably around 11 inch high rise. It's right at my belly button. It is a button fly. So for those of you who like it, there you go. For those of you who aren't a fan, maybe these ones aren't for you. So these ones are 100% cotton, but it's 80% organic cotton and then 20% recycled cotton. So in terms of that makeup, it does make a difference in terms of the comfortability of the jeans. I found that my Levi's that I'll show you in like a second, they're much harder even though they're 100% cotton. I believe it's the organic cotton that makes them softer. Um, and then also maybe the recycled cotton mixed together is not as stiff as like regular cotton. So these ones I haven't washed yet, but because they're 100% cotton, I'm not expecting them to shrink much. So a tip for washing denim, because I get that question a lot, don't wash them all the time. They only wash them when they actually get dirty, when you spill something on them, or if you've like been to the zoo or farm with them. But like on a daily basis, if you're wearing them like once or twice a week, I wouldn't wash them like every week, maybe like once a month, once every two months. People throw them in the freezer to stop the smell and kill the bacteria. But if you need to wash your jeans, wash them in cold water on delicate and air dry. That's what I do. And my jeans really don't ever change shape other than shrinking maybe just a little bit. So they do have a little bit of distressing down on the ankle here. That's why I haven't cut them yet. But every time I put them on, I'm like, ah, I think I want them to be cropped. I really like these. I think they're very comfortable and I think that they're a good denim to have in your closet from dressy to casual jeans because they don't have any like huge distressing on them. You can really pull them off as a dressier jean as well. So next up are my trusty Levi's 501 Skinny. These ones are the 100% cotton ones. They do have stretch versions. So make sure you check the materials when you shop online. These ones are a high rise, but not as high as the Able to E ones I just showed you. I would say maybe 10 and a half inch rise versus 11, 11 and a half for the other one. These ones are still my favorite. I just haven't been wearing them as much because I've been trying to try different styles of jeans. So these ones, because they're hundred percent cotton, have like really nice rips in them. And when I cut them raw edged at the bottom, they aged really nicely. So up close, you can see that they faded a little bit. It is a button fly like the Jamie's, but it isn't necessarily recycled or organic cotton. So it is like a tougher denim. And I do, I mean, prefer it myself, but a lot of you guys I know aren't denim wearers. So these might be quite uncomfortable for you. They do break in though. I've gotten some questions in terms of people saying they are so tight, you can't breathe. I didn't wear these very often when I first got them because they were so tight, but they stretched over time. So in terms of stretching, I mean, they stretch a little bit in terms of giving you enough room to breathe and feeling super comfortable in them, but they don't stretch to this point where they're like sagging. I mean, like there's not a lot of sag in the butt region for these, I don't think and it has to do with the rise too, because it sits higher. I feel like your hips can actually hold them up better than other styles of jeans, which over time just starts sagging downwards. So beauty of mid to high rise jeans is that your own hip and butt can hold them up. So yeah, these jeans are my go-to jeans. I will forever have them in my closet. I'm thinking of selling some jeans, but I don't think these ones are ever going to leave my wardrobe. Next up, we have the Reformation Cynthia's. These ones are super comfy, but you can tell they're definitely a lot looser. These ones I'm wearing in a size 26. 25 was way too tight for me. I probably could have gotten away with it and then like waited for them to stretch out, but that wasn't the point of the denim I wanted at that point. These ones are high rise. I would say closer to the 501 skinny high rise level, not as high as the Jamie's. They are definitely a looser denim. The leg is a relaxed leg is what Reformation calls them, but I think they're technically still straights. So I put them in this category. 
become this crop. I didn't touch the length at all, and I think it fits perfectly for me. Hits right on my ankle. Again, I'm five foot five. So you can use that as your reference point. So these ones are also a button fly. So in terms of texture and material, it's 43% tensile, 40% organic cotton, and 17% regular cotton, which is I think why I get that stretch and looseness from them. The tensile softens over time especially. So I've washed these once and I found that they definitely softened on me. In terms of stretching, not really. They definitely stretch with wear. So like I wore them twice and they already like loosened up really quickly. So if you're someone who wants your jeans to loosen up very quickly in terms of being comfortable, these ones are for you or anything with tensile probably. So fourth pair of denim will be the Topshop Straits. This particular denim pair I don't think exists anymore, the Exposed Fly, but Keep an eye out. They definitely have the Topshop straight style in stock still. So in terms of high rise, I would say these ones are closer to the Jamie's, probably 11 inch, if not 11.5. These ones are 100% cotton as well. They definitely have styles that aren't 100% cotton. So depending on what you're comfortable with, I would go with the cotton ones just because I think the texture is just so nice and these ones definitely get more comfortable with wear. I hardly wore them when I first got them because they were so stiff. Very similar to the Levi's in terms of the stiffness but now they are probably one of my more comfy jeans and like you can definitely um, bend and kick in them. These ones were cropped already. They come with a raw hem so they fit me perfectly. I didn't want to touch them but for those of you who are a little bit shorter you can easily cut them as a raw hem without having to worry about actually having them. So this is the fly up close. Same button fly, but the buttons are exposed. I really, really like these ones and the coloring, it's supposed to be like a flat blue, but over time with wearing, you can see that it's faded just a little bit, but it's still a very like rich and medium blue, which I don't have too much in my closet. So I like to have a range of shades. Last but not least, we are talking about the Citizens of Humanity Charlotte crop. So I have a pair that are lighter in the full length, but I prefer the crop ones. I think they're more flattering, so I'm probably just gonna get the other pair hemmed. Same-ish color as the Topshop ones you just saw, but definitely a more tapered straight leg. So as you can tell through the five jeans I've showed you, straight leg can mean many different things to different brands. So. Hopefully this helps you narrow what kind of straight leg you like. It is a high rise, similar to the Levi's mid high rise. So 10 and a half to 11 inch high rise. Button fly, you can see up here, it's a much softer cotton. The tag just says 100% cotton, but I feel like there's probably some recycled cotton in there, just in terms of the texture itself. It's not a true rough cotton like the Levi's. These ones definitely stretch a little bit. They have stretched quite a bit here you can see but I kind of like that like the fading has come in really nicely so in terms of the butt area yeah there's some more folding than there was before because that's just like the natural progression of denim these ones are the most expensive out of the five that I've shown you and in terms of style I think are very close to what the top shops are so if you want to get something at a lower price point, I definitely go for the Topshop ones. But I would also keep in mind, like Citizens is expensive for a reason. They are really like good at getting every single detail. And like the stitching is like impeccable in terms of it like just blending in and giving a hint of character. And the like button flies like are always very comfortable and line up. Something with Topshop that I found is the buttons don't necessarily always line up or like go on easily. Citizen has in terms of like the waistband really really like master like it comes up a bit so it is a little bit more flattering whereas the Topshop ones are a little bit more horizontal. There is something to investing in jeans like more expensive denim brands exist for a reason. There is a difference but how much of a difference and if you'll notice it is really up to you. And those are my top five favorite straight leg relaxed leg jeans that I have in my closet right now. If you guys have other ones that you want me to try out, um, leave them down below. If you have questions, of course, leave them down below. I will be linking whatever still exists in the description box below. I've had some of these jeans for a couple of years, so they might not be on the market anymore. If they're not on the market, I will try to link similar ones. And if you like the video, like the video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next time.